if you've had the vaccine, you still need to shield because one, if you're not having your immune system monitored to check that you've got the antibodies and even still, even if you are positive for antibodies, it doesn't necessarily mean you are protected from a coronavirus infection. So the COVID infection. So I think, yes, you would still need to shield at least until we're at a point where we can confidently say that if you have evidence of these antibodies or other immune components that we can we can show, then um, we would then have confidence that you would be uh, immune to COVID infection or at least not necessarily stop you being infected with the virus, but at least if you are, have much milder symptoms. If you've been vaccinated, you still have to shield and carry out the same uh, whatever restrictions the government have suggested are necessary for where you live. It doesn't change that. What the vaccination would change is eventually, when enough people have been vaccinated, then it will allow the the sort of social measures to try and prevent from protection to be potentially relaxed. But that won't be happening until the vaccine has been instigated, has been given to a very large number of people. Uh, again, back to the why we've gone for the one dose and then delayed to wait to 10, 10, 12 weeks for the second dose. Just while, while we're on this point, you know, as Blood Cancer UK and Anthony Nolan, we both know how difficult it is for people shielding. And essentially, some people have been pretty much inside since March last year. And um, we know how, how tough that is. So if you are struggling and you are finding it difficult, please do get in contact with um, our support services team 